Hello, my name is Max. I'm a CTO and data scientist at Supervisely. And in today's tutorial, I will show you how to perform multiple object tracking in Supervisely on your videos. Let's start. This is my Supervisely account. And I will show you right now how to perform multiple object tracking using the YOLO V8 model. So here's my data. As you can see, there are a lot of frames and a lot of cars on the video stream, and we will try to detect and track all of them. Let's go back to the Supervisely dashboard. To run neural network in Supervisely, first of all, I need to connect my computer with GPU. Uh, you can do it here in Team Cluster. As you can see, I have several computers connected. I will provide the link in the description to this video, how to do, how to connect your own computer to, to your account. So let's do the following. Let's go to the neural networks page, find the category object detection on images, uh, section serve and de deploy your V8 model on my computer. I need to press run app button, go to advanced setting, select computer I'm going to use for deployment and press run. Right now the application is started. Uh, here we can provide our custom checkpoint, but for this tutorial I will use already pre-trained model that is available in community. I will, use, I will pick the large model object detection and we'll deploy it on this device. Let's press serve button. So right now the model is downloaded from the GitHub and deployed on my computer. Let's go back to our demo data. To apply detection model to our videos, we will use special app from Supervisory Ecosystem, it's called Apply Neural Network to Videos. You can find it in Neural Network section here. Let's run it. Right now the application is ready and we can open it. These apps do the following. It uses a paradigm tracking by detection. Here is an example. We have a video sequence. Our detection model will be applied to every frame separately and as a result we'll have the separate detection on every frame. Then we will use some tracking algorithm. In our case it will be deep sort automatically applied and thus uh, we will combine all these separate detections into the tracks and final trajectory and get the final trajectories for all our objects. Let's go back to the app. Here we have our images. Let's press select button and on the next step we need to connect to one of the deployed models. In my case I deployed a few minutes ago YOLO V8 and I will connect to it. We see some basic information about connected model. On the next step we see some basic classes that model can predict. Let's select all of them and go to the next step. Here I can configure inference settings like confidence threshold for our prediction, intersection or reunion, uh, some settings for non-maximum suppression algorithm and so on. Let's keep all the settings by default and press preview button to see the tracking result on a short video fragment. So as you can see the preview is generated and we can watch it uh, before we apply the model to all videos in our project. Let's define the name of the resulting project. Let's call it inference results. And press apply settings button. On the last step we'll press this button to apply the model to all videos in our project. In my case for demo reasons I have only one video but you can have hundreds or even thousands of them. Let's wait until the model will 
download the video uh, will be applied to every frame, then the tracking algorithm will automatically group all separate predictions and build a tracks for our objects. Let's wait until the app will be finished. The model downloads the entire video and then iterate over the frames and predict objects on these frames and then at the end all these predictions, thousands of objects will be combined and uploaded to the platform. So you will be able to preview these annotations on top of your videos in supervised video labeling tool. As you can see, the model generated about 60 thousands of objects on our video and it will be really hard to label all these objects manually. Uh, thus, these applications will help us to automatically pre-label the data and find objects and their tracks on our videos. So right now the application is finished and as a result, the new project with inference predictions is created. Let's check the results. So that's it for today. I recommend you to try to upload your videos and perform pre-labeling with the pre-trained or custom model in Supervisor. If you find this video useful, subscribe to our channel to watch more computer vision tutorials. If you have some questions, please leave them in the comments to this video. See you, have a nice day, goodbye.